We begin with new questions surrounding the reopening of Crossroads Mall. You know, for the past several months, new owners have been working to pin down a date. Last October, we took you inside Crossroads to get a look at the progress. But as News Force Kaylee Olivas found out today, those reopening plans now appear to be up in the air. And it has some businesses backing out before they even set up shop. While the original plan here was to reopen Crossroads Mall sometime late last year, but with material delays and now some vendors backing out, though, they're not quite sure when it'll be open to the public. I had honestly pulled out since September, mentally. <laughs> you know, when uh, they basically were hitting us with the contract and you don't even know when you're opening. The vendors we spoke with Friday afternoon say they were promised a reopening date of August. Then it got pushed to October, then November, and now February. However, Crossroads Mall says they haven't locked down a date just yet. We will not give a date at this point. We refuse to do so because we can't keep going off anything that we can't predict. So why the delays? Throughout this revamping process, they say they've been deceived by contractors they've hired, resulting in material delays. There's just been things that have been unforeseeable circumstances. The other issue now? Businesses are pulling out, including at least three restaurants. Rage and Cajun, Yum Yum Goat, and Baradia El Gadro. It, it was just a lot of red flags, but we didn't pay attention. Out of 115 spaces for lease, Crossroads claims to have 26 commitments. News 4 asked Crossroads Mall exactly how many tenants they've lost, but they say putting a number on it would be, quote, pure speculation, adding most intend to come back. These owners are very committed to Oklahoma. They're very committed to make this happen. Um, we're almost there. Kaylee Olivas, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Kaylee, thank you again. Crossroads was not able to provide us with a reopening date. The businesses backing out and requesting a refund have allegedly been issued one as of this week.